Doppler 12 Futurecast. So what do you think, what kind of a letter weather grade should we get today? A plus, right? <laughs> a plus, just gorgeous. Beautiful evening right now. Take a look at live pictures along the South Shore, Narragansett Town Beach with clear skies. Uh, still some people walking along the beach right now. They've, they have the light jackets now because it is getting a little cooler, but temperatures today just gorgeous. In Providence right now, getting ready for a real pretty sunset after topping out at 70 and breaking the record. It has cooled off to 61 out of south breeze at 13, humidity at around 52%. But even at this hour, you can see the huge range in temperature. Now, Newport is 54, Block Island only 48, while it's still close to 70 in Smithfield. Why? Well, blame it on the ocean. A record-breaking day had people in short sleeves on Blackstone Boulevard. The Providence high temperature well into the 70s shattered the old record today of 66 set back in 2002. In addition, today was the earliest in the year we've hit the 70s since 1985. But not everyone was in t-shirts. Long sleeves, jackets, and sweatshirts were the general rule along the seawall here at Narragansett Town Beach. While inland highs were in the 70s, notice the coastal highs only made it into the 50s. Since we're not officially out of winter, ocean temperatures are still pretty chilly, only in the 40s. And with a consistent southwest breeze, this continued to bring cooler ocean-influenced air over the south coast. But of course, water temperatures will continue to increase as we march towards spring and summer. Like we usually peak at around 71 degrees, the ocean temperature by the latter part of the summer. All right, take a look at the satellite photo and you see uh, just generally clear skies, the real stormy weather across the southern plains, big rain and some thunder. Not too much a factor in our forecast for now, but ahead of a cold front out ahead of that, got that southwesterly breeze bringing in some of that warmer air. Look at the high temperatures from the Gulf Coast all the way to southern New England. In fact, Hartford, Connecticut topped out at 81 degrees this afternoon. Now it's mild for tomorrow, not as warm, but still running well above average. A future cast for this evening is nice and quiet heading out the sea evening. It's uh, comfortable as temperatures you know, slowly drop through the 50s. Morning commute tomorrow looks fine. We're talking about uh, extra clouds in the morning, mainly dry, good travel weather, temperature at around 58, though we start to bring in some scattered showers, rain showers by uh, afternoon and evening. So the latter part of the day, looking at showers, mild at 62, damp roads, you'll need the to turn on the wipers. All right, seven day future cast Friday, very nice. After a shower near dawn, it'll clear out breezy and dry. Not as warm, but boy, temperature still pretty nice at 59. Weekend still looks pretty good. A number of events going on on Saturday, including a St. Patrick's Day parades along the South Shore, places like Narragansett and Newport. It looks real nice. The parade in Newport starts, uh, kicks off at 11 a.m. 57. And throughout the day, it's comfortable, breezy and dry with some sunshine. Certainly better weather for that parade compared to last year. And on Sunday, still looks pretty good at 57. We'll bring in some cooler air, much cooler weather, and some rain by Monday into early Tuesday with temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s. So another warm day coming up for tomorrow, perhaps not the 70s and 80s, but easily in the 60s. I keep the umbrella on standby uh, second half of the day. Yeah, I think it was a flip flop weather today for sure. It was so warm out. I just couldn't believe it. What's the average this time too? We're about 48, 49, so way above the average oh, and, wow. and easily breaking the record of 66. Yeah. All right, Tony, thanks so much. Coming up next. The final trip to former Philadelphia.